Hello, everybody. You know what we're here to do. The same thing probably almost everyone on Instagram is doing today. Opening series two. Got my case in early this afternoon, went and picked it up from the local card store. Been waiting, it's been delayed. Let's go. Johnny T on the front for some reason. I'm not sure how they made that decision. Um, would love to hear if anyone knows why they did that. It's kind of an odd one in my personal humble opinion. But hey, Johnny T box. Let's go. Chase Prisky high gloss. Yeah. I don't that would be a pretty uh, upsetting case hit to be perfectly honest, but you know, I don't know. I'm also going to do uh, with Elon. We're going to have the podcast tomorrow. We're going to each open a box. So it's just going to be box opening a week. Hello to everybody that's joined. Thanks for coming and hanging out. But uh, yeah, I'm stoked to just open some packs. It's been, it's been a while since I just like crushed young gun packs. Like really when I, I got my box or case of series one was the last time I just opened a whole bunch of these. Jonathan Bernier was on 1415 series two. Like what do they do? Just like pick Leafs at random? Was he with the Leafs then? I don't know. Um, that is, that is super random. At least Johnny T is like a hockey player. Um, not too much shade thrown at Bernier. Yeah, he's he's done he's done his thing with the opportunities he's been given. But I don't know, it's weird to me, like series two young guns. Um, in a year where like everyone is losing their minds about hockey. The first one was McDavid, so that's fair. Um, but like, why would you not have like Kale McCarr, or Elias Pettersson, or like somebody that people are jazzed about right now? I'm sure Leafs fans are somewhat jazzed about Tavares as, as they are lots of guys and the Leafs are doing well. So again, I'm not like sh throwing shade on Tavares, but I don't know. People are like excited about young guys in these, in these boxes. So. Maybe there's some sweet Tavares insert that you can get that I'm just, like, completely ignoring. Anyways, you guys aren't here for me to bitch about Tavares being on the front. You're here for me to open my first packs of Series 2, the Hobby Box. And uh, I saw some horror, horror photos of, like, messed up cards. So, pray that mine are all good to go. But... Yes, thank you for the good luck. Here we go. Oh, Carl Hagel in action. Austin Matthews. Yeah, I saw this card. I think uh, it's got the empty seats there. That's going to be kind of funny this this year. Lanner, Beauty, Muzzy. Oh, we've got our first Young Guns. First pack, first Young Guns. Who is it going to be? Who is it gonna be? Imagine just like crazy right out of the gate. Young Guns, Tampa Bay Lightning, Calfoot. All right, you know, uh, hard to argue with a Lightning player who, you know, is a highly touted prospect. Um, he's obviously a defensive defenseman, so there's that. You can see that this thing was not cut very nicely on the left there. I don't know how easy that's, that is for you guys to see, but with the old human eye, you can see lots of little fluffies. Um, the corners are straight though, so there's that. Um, your first pack was Jalen Chatfield. Yeah, I feel like we were pretty hard on him when we did the episode on the podcast where we just went through every Young Guns in this box and we're like, basically shitting on the guys that we've never heard of and he was one of them but you know what Calfoot was one of those guys that's like in that tier of defensemen where you're like you know what he's an NHL defenseman that's about that's about where we're at with him so can't argue too much what did you miss you missed literally that was my first pack and uh, we got a Calfoot young gun so not the worst start 
We're not upset. It wasn't Jimmy Stu though. Got Vince Dunn, little Johnny Quick. First ever pack of Series 2, yeah. Yeah, decent, exactly. That's, that's exactly what I'd say. Decent, like bubbles. Mackenzie Entwistle, beauty. The Bulldogs PC. That's such a meta PC, I love it. Jordy Ben, Theodore. Oh, we've got a UD canvas of Pavelski for my man, Easy. Got that Stars Retro sweater on. That's actually kind of nice. Nice hoodie. In the dressing room with his classic white stick. Oh, there's my boy Leon. Leon base card. Did unfocus on it? Yeah. Put that one to the side for the old pile. Justin Hall. Playing great. How's the condition on this? Uh... The corners actually look pretty good, but, and maybe it's just like fluffs, but the edges look kind of weird. I don't know how easy it is to see in the video, but it just looks like it was cut with a blade that was like 95% sharp, you know, like just kind of left some fluffs behind and things, but we'll see. You can kind of see it on the top right there if it'll focus for you. Come on, iPhone. focus on my card yeah yeah so top right there's like a little bit of fluffiness I don't know so far like not uh better than series one yeah well so like series one when I opened um my packs my personal packs uh all the young guns had those rounded corners which at the time we weren't really sure what was going on but um now it seems like people aren't really into that um, but I have seen some horror photos, so mine seems to be better than those horror photos at the very least so far. Um, as, yeah, Sabbath is saying, miscut cars, that sucks. All right, we've got a marquee rookies of Nick Robertson. So, the, like, personally, I feel like the marquee rookies this year are hideous. Um, like, all this framing is just, like, it looks pretty bad, but that's... Maybe some people will like that. And, you know, um, Toronto rookie card. That's pretty much all I have to say. Toronto rookie card. There you go. Rick Batherson. Guy I seem to hit a lot of. All right. Let's get something cool here. Seen some fluorescent cards terribly off-centered. That sucks, because those are really cool cards. Matt Roy, Sid, Rantanen, on fire, Rantanen, Felino, and a Zamula marquee rookies in that, like, other uh, format. Like, they've got the two marquee rookies. I guess this is, like, the retro look. Not super excited by that. Reinhardt, poor Reinhardt, struggling in Buffalo. Kubalik. Buknevich. Wish my phone would stop centering on Johnny T back there. Those? These? What about those? I missed that. Alright, let's start rifling through some of these base a little quicker. I kind of like to see them the first time around, but Kyle Connor. Chick Braun, uh, Adam Gaudette, and we got another rookies, marquee rookies in this weird, it's maybe a little bit better with this blue on the side, but that's just ugly, like, come on, brutal. Oh, you're saying like this marquee rookie that kind of feels weird? Yeah. I don't know, it's OPG, like, unless they're platinum which I'm still not even like stoked on. They just don't feel, they feel like cereal boxes, right? Uh, Broussard, Fabro, Corpy, Hiche. What time for the pod tomorrow? Uh, I think it'll probably be at eight, 8 p.m. Eastern, but I gotta confirm with Elon now that the boxes are here. I wasn't even sure if I was gonna get these today, so gotta make sure, but I'll let you guys know. Connor Hellebuck, Mark Andre Fleury. That's kind of an interesting Goudreau card. 
And we've got a Chase Prisky UD Portrait Rookies. Ugh. Still hate these designs. I've, I've seen some people that, that like these, but damn, that's brutal. Yeah, mine would still be in the mail, but I got them shipped to... Uh, the card store and then went and then went and picked them up rather than opting for the mail route because who knows how long Canada Post or FedEx or whoever is going to take to get them to you. Claude Giroux. Is that stuck to a card? That one felt really thick. Andreas Athanasiu. Okay, that's kind of random. Like when was he with the Oilers? Not any time recently. Greenway. You love the old portraits? See, I never really liked the portraits, so it's not a huge letdown for me. But these? Ugh. Like, insta get rid of that. Uh, Pellick. And we've got an award winners in this style of Matt Dumba. Like, I just don't know why. Like, do people want these? I don't know. If you want this, let me know. Like, this is just an ugly card, in my opinion. Um, Gavrikov, Dezingle, also not on that team anymore. Paul oh, Byron. Yeah, gross cards, right? Like, what the hell? Like, I've never really wanted the OPG stuff, but at least before they looked kind of classic. Like, those are just yikes ones. Uh, there's an Ekholm, Seth Jones, Jesper Bratt. Tyler Bertuzzi, and we've got a UD Canvas, Young Guns, Martin Kaut, not bad, I mean, cool jersey there, Young Guns Canvas, can't argue with that too much, Martin Kaut, I don't really know what level he'll be able to get to, but he's a player. Trying to modernize cereal box style cards ain't working. Yeah, no kidding. Like, we're not cutting these things out of the side of our Cheerios, guys. Like, let's let's have a little bit nicer design. Like, I don't like to rag on designers too much, being one myself, because it's not an easy thing to do, but I think you can do better than these, guys. All right, I, don't, I haven't been paying attention. I don't know if I've grabbed any cards off of the left pile or not, but... We're not even halfway through. We've got one Young Guns, one Young Guns canvas. Oh man, look at that pure Edouard Bellamara photo. That's actually great. Cool card. Vasilevsky, I feel like all of Vasilevsky's cards look very similar. Nyquist, oh, got another Young Guns, okay. Does a canvas YG count toward the six in the box? No, it does not. We'll still get six. Those are considered inserts. Comsi even considers canvas uh, young guns to be non like true rookies. They call them rookie year. Um, I consider them rookies because like they come in the same box, but that's just kind of how how Comsi does it. You think it's a Stutes? You think it's a Stutes? I hope it's a Stutes. What is that? Devils? Oh, could be Ty Smith. I would like that. It's a Ty Smith. This guy. Playing great this year. Just like offensive, offensive D-man. So you like to see that in a card. This one, actually, the corners are a little bit weird. It's, I know it's probably really tough to see on the camera, but... Yeah, the corners, not ideal is how I would describe the corners, especially that one. Gross. Stop focusing on Tavares. <laughs> Stupid camera. Stop five, top five to 10 YG. Yeah, I, I would say that I completely agree with you. Yeah, this is like a top 10 guy. Um, and definitely like one of the top two D-men, right? Like it's him and probably Mr. Montreal Canadiens over there in Romanov. Um, yeah, cool. I'll take that. So we got, we got Ty Smith, we got Cal Foot. So we're getting good defensemen. And then we got the Cout Canvas YG so far. Burns, Perry, 
Adam Bulkfist in those cool Blackhawks jerseys. That's kind of cool. And Gardner. Yes, decent is how this box is going. Is decent. Not good. Not bad. Just right down the middle so far. Disrespect for Condre. Well, I mean, yeah, I, I, I put him behind those two personally. If the dev, if the Rangers would do something, I might, I might change that opinion. But yeah, he's he's third on my list right now. Ben Hutton looking cool in those Kings jerseys. Mick, man, oh, we've got back to back YGs. What do we got here? Regret not buying at Case when boxes went up 107. Yeah, I got in early and the it was like quite a bit relatively cheaper, so I was happy about that. Right now they're going for like 150, 160 Canadian from what I've seen, so they've gone up quite a bit. All right, what do we have here? Minnesota Wild. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. We got one. We got one, boys. We got one. Don't tell me about the corners. <laughs> Try not to smudge it up because these are so smudgeable, but damn, clear cut Kaprizov. That's uh, that's about as good as we're doing in this box, right? Like that's, that's beauty right there. And yeah, you're talking corners. So what's interesting is the corners actually don't look damaged. And I don't know if you can see it, but they look more like those rounded corners that you saw last year. Um, but yeah, that, yeah, so they're like the rounded corners. They're not actually messed up corners. Um, but yeah, Kaprizov clear cut. Let's go. I wonder what the value on that is. Kaprizov normals going for like, what, 400 pre-sale? Um, so this, I can't even guess, but that'll pay for, uh, It'll pay for this uh, whole business, is what I'll uh, is what I'll say about how good that is. So, all right, let's just put that back there. See Johnny T behind it. Hell yeah, that's what you want. Thousands, you say? I mean, like how? Like really? Like thousands? I hope so. Fourteen hundred to two thousand. Uh, yeah, that that seems seems like at least right if the normal one's 400 um i guess we'll see we will see do i even open the rest of these cards or just go to ebay like <laughs> now i'm gonna open the rest of them for you but that's a beauty it's a beauty good start to the case oh and then right behind it another young guns this one doesn't look like a clear cut but hey we'll take another young guns We've got from the Blackhawks, Kevin Lankinen. Back to back, pretty decent. Obviously, this guy's cruising this year. Um, came out of nowhere. This was like if I had ranked the Young Guns before the season started, I would say Kevin Lankinen would have been like completely off my radar. Uh, I would have been like, yeah, that's a guy that like maybe might be someone. But now, boy, is he a goalie. And, uh, yeah, cool one. One listed for 4500 on eBay. One of these bad boys. I mean, listed, like, who knows. But if that's what the asking price is, I'm happy about it. Let's put it that way. wonder if the, uh, like, quick grade at PSA is... Uh, is worthwhile or not. I guess I'll have to take a clo cloaker, close, a cloaker look. I can never talk right after I get a sweet card. Um, yeah, I'll take a closer look and see. Yeah, it really turned into a huge box, eh? Like, damn, out of nowhere. Brandon Hagel, UD Portrait Rookies. He looks so happy there, so that, that kind of like upgrades this card. Um, but yeah, nothing is going to compare to a Caprizov clear cut. Unless this is just like a god box, but I don't I don't foresee us having a bigger moment than that one. Um, I still want that Jimmy Stew, though. If we can get a Jimmy Stew, then like, do I even open the rest of the boxes in the case? 
The other thing is like clear cut Kaprizov is obviously an amazing hit, but is that something that upper deck considers to be a case hit? I don't know. Like it's not serial numbered, right? So maybe there's still something sweet in this case. Olafsson, Patty Kane, Pollock, Heiskinen, and we have another Young Guns. Wow, they're just coming all of a sudden. Bam. Okay, what do we have? We've got from the Florida Panthers. I don't think there's any Florida Panthers ones I want, right? There's another Prisky. Chase Prisky. And he's not even looking. Like, I have another case hit. Yeah, that's kind of my feeling, too. Um... Chase Prisky, not even looking at the camera. You kind of see his number and his name, but like, could we do a little better than that on our photos, guys? Come on. Another case hit. So, I mean, the case is already a big win. Uh, I forget what the actual math is, but yeah, this card is silly, right? One clear cut and one to two exclusive YG per case. Yeah, last time I got um, one exclusive Young Guns in the case and I got one exclusive base card and then I got uh, one clear cut Young Guns. I think it was a Broberg, but didn't get anything like this. Um, damn, there's some base here just sitting around that I never looked through, so. Probably the base from that Kaprizov pack that I just completely forgot existed. This guy sucks. Yeah, uh, Chase Prisky. I mean, so the interesting thing with Young Guns every year, and it's the same thing in NHL prospects, is there's going to be one of these guys that everyone's like, you suck, and then he'll be good. It's just which of the, like, 40 of them is it? Not 40, that's an exaggeration, but there's a lot of them. Pecorini, Chris Kreider, and we've got a Anders Lee UD canvas. And it's so weird seeing all these inserts and cards with like the stands in the background just like completely empty. It makes it makes it feel a little bit like practice cards um, or like practice jerseys even. Like if that Florida guy wasn't there, I'd be like, are they just like practicing in their jerseys? I don't know. I don't know why it's more noticeable to me like on the card than when I'm watching the game, but it kind of, like, to me, it sticks out a bit. I guess the beauty with a clear cut is there's no background. Sick. Sick. So, moral of the story is say that you don't want the Kaprizov, and then you'll get the Kaprizov. That's not really how it works, but that's what happened. I'm like, let's get a Jimmy Stew, and they're like, here's a Kaprizov clear cut for you. All right, we've got a Mackenzie Entwistle Marquee Rookies OPC Firewood. Jordan Stall on the Whalers jerseys. I love those jerseys. Get Slaff. Really not doing his thing this year. Wow, there's so many packs to open still, and this box has already been just a total beauty. Um, I can't say much more than that. It's been excellent to me. We've got, what, one, two, three, four Young Guns, a Young Guns canvas, and a Young Guns clear cut. So, uh, I think we'll get one more. Might be two. I don't, I don't know whether clear cut Young Guns count. I think they do, but I'm, I'm not positive. Aho, Dubois, Armia, and we've got a Broberg of the Marquee Rookies in this other style. I mean, it's an Oilers guy, so I like that. I like Broberg a lot, but this, that style of card just does not do it for me. Jaden Schwartz, Sorensen, and a Kako. Nice face. Uh, Corrali. These cards do have, or these packs do have a kind of like a nice purple shine to them. I'm a, I'm a big purple fan, so I'm into that. Jonas Brodin, Chieson, can't hit the bloody net, Chieson, Dermot, and we got a Marquee Rookies of Ingram. There's a lot of these inserts, like what happened to the other types of inserts? I don't want these Opeachy inserts, get out of town. Series one was better so far as from an insert perspective, as far as I'm concerned. 
Why am I complaining? I got a cap reserve clear cut. Subban. Stepan. Ferraro. Ian Cole. Brendan Smith. Oh, shoot. I spoiled something here. Sorelli. Wait, weird. We got a UD Portrait Rookies. And then there's a Young Guns behind it? What is this pack? Okay, so there's an insert, and then there's a Young Guns. So Lucas Carlson followed by, oh, it's a Jean-Luc. The French Young Guns of Jordan Gross. So I guess that's like a hit. Is that, I'm so confused. Like there's so many different types of Young Guns in this, in this box. Like, am I gonna still get another Young Guns? Cause I got a French one. I guess we'll find out together. Um, Jordan Gross is not who I'm really looking for, obviously, but, you know, French version Young Guns do, do, uh, do go for it. You think there's going to be a base pack now? I've never seen a base pack in Hobby. Maybe they just messed this up, but, yeah, maybe. I don't know. Um, I guess we'll find out. There's only, I don't know, five packs left. So we got a Jean Loup. We got a... UD Canvas Young Guns. We got a regular cut Young Guns. Obviously, we got clear cut Young Guns. We're just like, just honestly, the funny thing is the ones I want to open on the podcast, the boxes I want to open on the podcast are just like this, and you can like talk about all the different things you get. But we're probably going to open up tomorrow on the podcast, just like the most boring boxes, because that's how it goes. But again, not complaining. You had one because it had two hits in it. Gotcha. Another one of these things. God, I hope someone's collecting these and I can just send all of them to that person for free here, basically. Not free, but extremely not expensive. All right, let's see. Can this box be even more godly? I don't know. Good question. Kevin LeBanc, Philip Heedle. David Krejci, and we've got a Johnny T. UD Canvas. Kind of cool. It's got some photos in the background there, I guess, from the locker room hallway. Kind of fun. Oh, wait. Okay, so second pack in a row with two inserts in it. Like, what is going on? Victor Olofsson Dazzlers. It's kind of a nice card, actually. Matches the blue of the jerseys. This guy obviously hasn't um, been having a fun year, but cool card. So yeah, two packs that had two inserts, or like one had a young gun and an insert. So I don't know what's going on, but uh, hopefully it's not someone else that's just like not getting things because I happen to get things. I hope that's not how it works. Um, so weird. Uh, I can't complain about extra cards, I guess. Okay, we've got another young guns. What is happening? <laughs> All right. Uh, what do we have here? We've got from the Blackhawks, Ian Mitchell. A guy that, if you watch the podcast where I go through all the cards, I kind of was like poo-pooing, but maybe he's got some offensive upside and maybe he's a guy. I don't know. I seem to be getting all the defensemen this box. That's for sure. Ty Smith, Cal Foot, Ian Mitchell. I don't even know if Jordan Gross is a defenseman. That's how much I don't know him. And it's in French, so it's hard to figure out. Jordan Gross. Yeah, he is a defenseman. Yeah, so, yeah, like all the D-men on the young gun front. Mitchell, Gross. Is Prisky a D-man? I have no idea. Prisky's a D-man. Lankinen's a goalie, obviously. Cal Foot is a D-man. Ty Smith is a... Like, this is like the D-man box. And then Kaprizov. And Lankin. And Kout. What a what a box. Holy smokes. There's a Mike Smith card. Cool. Two more, three more packs open still, too. Like uh, this is um doesn't get much better than this, I don't think. Loot Cheech Coos nets off Ryan Reeves. Oh, it does get better than this. It does get better. Like, like not better, but like this. Yeah, this. Wow. Um, 
This box has been very lovely to me because this is a box filler of Georges Larocque, which we were talking about in the Discord that I really wanted because it's George Frey and Larocque, Euler's beauty. The bottom of this is destroyed, so that's fun, but um, I actually didn't realize that these were clear, unless this is like a clear version of the card, um, but it's clear. I didn't know that. Really cool. It's actually like got a little bit of 3D going on there too. You can see like kind of some depth to it. That's a really cool card. Yeah, the corner's messed up, the bottom's messed up, so it's not your mint condition, but very cool. You think this is a case hit? I don't know. Really? I don't think so. Um, the Kaprizov clear cut, maybe. But this can't be a case hit, right? It's just George Larocque. Still really friggin' cool. If that's what they're giving out as case hits and then Kaprizov clear cut is not, I don't know what to tell you. Also, if I get the case hit in the very first box I open, that'll be pretty funny. Ekman Larson, yeah, it's definitely a PC card for me. I'll throw that up. Maybe even, we were talking about sending it to Larocque because he's a collector. That'd be kind of fun too. Nielsen, okay guys, there's another Young Guns in here. What is, like, okay, I just need to, before I even do that, we have Martin Cout, Young Guns Canvas. We have Lankinen, Young Guns, that's one. Ty Smith, Young Guns, that's two. Calfoot, Young Guns, that's three. Prisky, Young Guns, that's four. Mitchell, Young Guns, that's five. Then we got the French Jordan Gross, Young Guns, which is six, or seven, seven. Then we got the Kirill Kaprizov, Young Guns Clear Cut, which is nuts. So that's eight. And then there's one sitting here. Like, <laughs> um, I mean, it's like, it, it's not an issue because they guarantee you six regular young guns. And, and there, this is the sixth regular young gun in their defense. But like, holy smokes. And we have, yeah, I say all that. And then it's like, Joel Kelman, have you, uh, have you heard of this guy? Because, uh, like, we did a podcast where we went through all the young guns, and I still don't really know who this guy is. Um, but it's a young guns card. Is a young guns card. And, uh, you know, 2019-20, he played 31 games for the Sharks, and I still didn't know who he was. So maybe that's on me. Maybe that's on me. They must have figured out I run a hockey card podcast. Yeah, Upper Deck was like, okay, where did he buy his case from? Let's figure that out. Let's make sure they put his name on it. That would be a con. Um, <laughs> but yeah, th like this is just wild, honestly. Um, yeah, exactly. Who? Uh, yeah. So this is, I don't know if this is the best box I've ever opened, but I think it might be. Um, like, I, it, it very well might be the best box I've ever opened. Mike Hoffman, Clayton Keller, Robbie Fabry. And here's the last card of the box. A wonderful Mikey Anderson, UD Rookie Portraits, however that you say that. Just to just to tease me at the end, be like, haha, here's a card you think is ugly. Just for fun, but... Anyways, that, oh, cool. Checklist of Matthews Pedersen on the very back, just in case. So, damn. Uh, this is obviously what we're talking about. Kaprizov clear cut. You can see Johnny T in the background. What's up, buddy? Um, just, wow. So, yeah, I guess I have to go on eBay now um, and see what we're doing about this. But that's awesome. Just awesome. And uh, yeah, wow. So let's go through them once more because this was a wild box. We got Georges Larocque, 
insert of the box filler. Yeah, Elon's gonna be super jealous. And uh, that's really cool. Uh, this is actually, these are actually beautiful cards. I wish it wasn't kind of mucked up, but great card. We got the Jordan Gross Jean-Luc. I don't even know how you properly say that. Um, but this is the first of many defensemen we got. Joel Kelman, center, young guns for the Sharks. That's all I know about him. Ian Mitchell, young guns. Chase Prisky, young guns. Cal Foot, solid young guns. Ty Smith, one of the better young guns. Kevin Lankinen, one of the better young guns. Martin Kaut, Young Guns Canvas, and the beauty of the box, and maybe the beauty of the case, only time will tell, Kirill Kaprizov, Clear Cut, Young Guns. Whew! All right, so, like I said, Elon and I are going to be on the Near Mint podcast tomorrow night, so come by and see what else we get. If it's anything close to this, I'll be stoked, but it's going to be fun. It's going to be fun. We'll see whose box is better. And uh, yeah, thanks for uh, tuning in and watching this madness. Whew, crazy town.